Hello, everybody. How are you today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope your sun is shining. And if it's cloudy, just use that time to just chill and just have a good day. And remember how important you are to the Lord who died for you. Give your burdens to the Lord and he will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. Psalms 55, 22. Prayer. Dearest Abba, Father, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, today I am reminded, reminded of your preeminent sovereignty over all things, including me. I am submitting myself to you, O Lord. I offer myself to you today. I, oh, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> sneeze, God bless me. I surrender my agenda so that I might be devoted to your agenda. I commit myself to your glory and your ways. I could have edited that out, but hey, it's real, right? It's real. Thank you for dying on the cross for me so that I can spend the future in my heavenly home with you, Father. Thank you for the strength to make it through any challenge I may face today. I choose to put my trust in you. I declare that you are good and faithful. Thank you for equipping me for victory in every area of my life. Gracious Father, today I set my heart and mind on you. I choose to trust that you are working behind the scenes on my behalf and on your behalf, guys. I stand strong on your word today, knowing that victory is on the way. Thank you, Jesus. Father, again, we thank you for entrusting your world to us. Thank you for placing us in the world so that we might till and keep it. Show us how to, our work can be a faithful exercise of our keeping responsibility. May we care well for that which you have given to us. May the practical words of wisdom from your word be accepted by my family to guide us to live lives pleasing to you. We want to thank you for the wisdom of scripture, for the chance to discover truths that are new to us every time we read your word. Thank you for your spirit who opens our eyes to see the riches of your revelation. Help us to grow together in our love for you and may we desire to serve and honor you with all our plans for the future. Through the grace of Jesus Christ, the high priest, who is interceding for me before you, I pray, amen. Bible promise of the day. God promises our sins will be far removed from us. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Psalms 103, 12. So quit beating yourself up over things you've done in the past. That's the past. Leave it there. God forgot it. You forget it. Prayer quote of the day. Men would pray better if they lived better. They would get more from God if they lived more obedient and well-pleasing to God. Author E.M. Bounds. And that is true and well said. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Don't forget to talk to God. It does help. I promise.